let's talk about BPM. Of course, as it relates to music and playing guitar. I'll start with a basic definition. BPM stands for beats per minute. It's a way to measure speed, or as we say in music, tempo. A higher number means faster, and a lower number means slower. Here's an example. This is 60 beats per minute. I have the metronome set to 60 beats per minute. Now, basically that's one beat a second, but that's not really how we think about it. That's a basic pulse of da, 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 da. If I were to double that, now we have 120 beats per minute. That's twice as fast. And of course, there's all kinds of speeds before, after, and in between. Sometimes, at least I find it easier to understand things if I have some examples. I'm going to show you three examples of how I use BPM. The first example is when I'm reading a piece of music. Having a written BPM is the way the composer tells me how fast or slow they intended that song or exercise to be. You can see here that this piece is intended to be 132 beats per minute and they're saying the quarter note gets one beat. It's very common to have the quarter note get one beat, but it's not the only possibility. If I were practicing this song, I would set my metronome to 132 beats per minute and then try to play through the piece. I know the quarter notes would all be one beat and all the other notes would come from that. Basically, half of a quarter note, an eighth note would be half a beat, a whole note would be four beats, a half note would be two beats, so on. Now, after practicing with my metronome for a while, I'd probably turn it off and just play the piece without the metronome. I'd keep that same feel and roughly the same speed. But I understand a BPM setting for a song is not meant to be an exact setting necessarily. In classical music, it's common to use Italian words for these same kind of things instead of BPM settings to give you a feel for how fast or slow the song should be. For example, moderato, which means moderately. You can count on that being somewhere between 86 and 97 beats per minute. Or legro, which means fast, bright, chipper. <laughs> this would be somewhere between 109 and 132 beats per minute. As you can see, it's kind of a range as opposed to a, an exact scientific speed. The second example is something I use every day. I use BPM as a way to measure my practice. In other words, I'll take a technique and I'll set a BPM on my metronome and then I'll play the exercise to that BPM. I might gradually increase the speed. Sometimes I'll even slow it down to see if I can get it more accurately at a slower speed. This has several benefits. First of all, it helps me to play in rhythm without slowing down or speeding up, which I've been known to do occasionally. Secondly, it gives me a way to track my progress, and it makes it more fun that way. And finally, it gives me a way to add variety to my practice sessions. This helps relieve some of the boredom of doing exercises over and over, which is actually quite necessary. Here's a third example. I often use the BPM setting when I'm composing music in my digital audio workstation, or DAW, D-A-W. I start with a number that seems about right for what I'm imagining, and then I'll adjust it depending on how it sounds with the piece. I've done this for years, so I have a good sense of what BPM is gonna work for what types of music and the feel that I want. Here's a quick tip. Rather than thinking of BPM as hard cold numbers, try to get a feel for the different tempos. I think this is what the classical composers had in mind when they started using these Italian words. They're trying to get you out of your head and into the feel of slow, fast, lively, solemn. And you know, I'm gonna give you a list of the different Italian words for tempos somewhere down below. And by the way, the best way I found to do this with my students and for myself is just to use a metronome in your practice sessions, not for all of it, but for some of it. Over time, you'll learn how to internalize how the different tempos feel without having to think about it too much. And here's a video I created to help you put this knowledge into practical use. Go ahead and watch that now, and I'll see you over there.